Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today, we are going to design something very cool and it's going to be a product design inside of Canva. I know this is something I rarely do but this time around it was a requested tutorial and I thought, you know, I had to do it. So, if you are interested in designing this particular um, poster or flyer with me, stay tuned and I will be right back after my intro. Before I get started with today's tutorial, I want to introduce to you the African Geek community and it has been improved. Initially, it was just a forum but now the whole interface and the whole platform has been improved and it now feels like our own Facebook. So, when you come here, there are several things you can do. You can share your content, you can promote your videos, you can meet people, follow people, connect with people and there are also forums you can join and in these forums, you can ask questions, you can also learn from people, you know, you can even create a discussion. Okay, so these are the first three forums here but more forums will be added. So this is something I wanted to introduce to you before we get started in today's tutorial. Okay, so here we are in Canva and the first thing we have to do is to go into create a design and this time around you can choose any dimension at all you want okay but i usually go for the 1080 by 1350 but you know it depends on what you want to use you can even go for 19 20 1080 or anyone at all okay so i just click on this and it should load and open beautifully for me after your blank space loads up okay what you have to do now is to import your assets and when I say asset, what I mean is your element and stuff like that. And if you already have a product, what you need to do is you need to take some good quality photos of them. Then you can remove the background and import them also in Canva. Okay, so if you've done that and um, if you are also joining me to create this, I have some elements uploaded in a Google folder and the link can be found in the description box below. So let's get started come to upload okay and in uploads i have a drink i search for miranda okay miranda not miranda sorry <laughs> and i will just position it here all right and what i'll do is i would want to change the background so i click on background color and canva has generated some colors for me also so you can see i can choose this one and it's too close to the miranda container or the miranda can yeah kind of contain one of them so what i'm going to do is i'll come into upload okay and in upload i have um this special element i get to use so i'll just scroll down and search for it it's not a gradient just in case you're thinking it's a gradient i'm sorry you are wrong it's not a gradient all right so this is the element i was referring to okay so what i'm going to do here is i can rotate it this way 90 degrees and increase the size okay so i just position it somewhere here and maybe i can even increase it more okay then position it here let's try to center it so come to position center and middle all right then you right click and send it to the back and what we are going to do is also to change the color of this element so come to effects and effect you come to draw tone like we always and always and always do all right then we click on draw tone and you click the first time you have to actually click the second time to come into this section so click on shadows and in shadows we are going to choose you know um some colors from here so i select my color picker and i just select maybe the lighter okay so this is how it's looking right now we choose before you even choose come here just copy the color code okay copy and come to highlight and click on the plus button and paste the color code here so this is what we have at the moment okay then i click on apply all right so you can see how this is looking right now we have this gradient um effect okay so if you want to go crazy what you can do is you can duplicate okay M move it slightly to the left a little bit and send it backward and you can do it again move it slightly to the right and move it okay backward also so you can see it's just we really trying to spread the um the orange or the lighter orange around okay that's all we are trying to do nice so i would increase my can a little bit okay because 
that's the main thing i want people to focus on all right and even with the same shadow okay i can even use it as um, a drop shadow over here so i can also do this and send it to the back okay and this is how it's looking right now you can see so i come to position and okay so i did this i click on this come to position okay this is also centered they are both centered but it doesn't look good to me so what i'm going to do is to select the shadow i have behind the dark shadow okay and i just use my arrow keys to position it well all right yeah now this is what we have at the moment what we are going to do next is to add some fruit okay because this is orange and i downloaded some orange also so i just select it and i minimize the i reduce the size so not to minimize okay and i can just increase a little bit you know it looks very natural you get it so i just want to have just this then i come into element and in element i'm going to search for leaves okay and there are several leaves that will come out so i can choose this leaf for example and it should load quickly 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 awesome all right and if you're on the free version of canva you may not get this leaves okay because i think it's pro you understand so you can go to clipart.com and um, just search for leaves you'll find some interesting leaves on there all right okay so i just send this to the back and i duplicate it and i will just rotate it more you can see what i'm doing and send this also to the back okay so you can see what i'm doing here then i can search for another leaf okay so let's see let me just come into photos i know with photos yeah we'll get a lot like we are seeing here maybe select this one let's see how it's looking this leaves looks too weird <laughs> let's see all right so you see what we are doing so if you want to select the element behind you have to press and hold control while you click okay you will be able to select the element you have behind yeah so i can duplicate this leaf again and i can also hold it and move it you know just rotate it more and you know maybe even reduce the size all right all right and i also send it backward okay but i think with the second one it's not really adding anything so i can just delete it and i'll just leave it this way so now the next thing i would suggest we do is to come to text and add text okay so add the heading and this is what we have so i just want to say natural okay or fresh f r e okay s h so i can increase it and so select the text and come to this section over here where we can change our text and you can search for script right so script and there are several scripts we have at the moment so you can just go in and just play around with some of the scripts we have over here okay we have the bright script okay so like i was saying just play around with with the font but i will choose this one and i'm going to type natural okay so n a and i just make the color also white okay then i increase it a little bit nice one and position it somewhere here come to effect okay and in effect we come to shadows in shadows we are going to change the color from white to maybe a gray or let's say a darker gray then we decrease the offset so that um it moves the shadow closer to our text and we also increase the blurriness of it okay so this is very very cool nice one then i can send it backward and maybe reduce it a little bit oh my goodness okay i just had to undo <laughs> yeah so maybe i'll crop my can a little bit okay and i hold this one and increase the size and maybe let me just select everything here wow no problem let's do this i make it smaller and reduce the size a little bit okay the reason is just to have 
um, more room for our text okay okay so i just align things a little bit for the shadow okay and we have our text okay nice one and i'll just say see you okay then i move this up a little bit and i duplicate it and bring it here and just say l a l so natural hope you get it nice one it's now up to us to position our text well so you can break it down and position it nicely or you can if you want to be a simple person like myself you can just say natural then we just okay in case it this way and position it here okay then i can bring it down a little bit come here and come to position and center okay so i increase the size i yeah increase the size i click on position and i center it you get it nice one and i move this one more and let me center my can okay good so this is what we have at the moment and even if you didn't want to use the shadow i had what you can do is you can click on your can come to effect in effect you go into shadows okay in shadows and in shadows there are several ones you can actually choose okay so it should just load quickly uh -huh. so you can see there are several shadows you can you can choose you get it so we have the backdrop we have the curve the only reason is um with this kind of shadow i was looking for you know i can't i don't have it here you get it that's why i just went on to use this element so if you still want to use the shadow canva has you know you can use it but if not you can also just join me and um, use this one i have um suggested okay or i have you know introduced to you nice so what else can we do what we can do now is that maybe let me just duplicate and make it like two oranges let's say one big orange and one small orange does it make sense it makes sense at least so <laughs> i will position it here so i come back to my element and i search for wavy okay w-a-v-y then i come into graphics okay in graphics this is what i'm looking for i'm looking for something like this okay and i drop it down i know i clicked it twice and it's appeared twice so i just choose one and minimize it a little bit okay and i can position it here then what i'm going to do is to press t on my keyboard for text and i can say 100 percent you understand then i increase the size a little bit and drop it down here come to the colors and change it to white okay and i just search for leaves okay then i come to graphics and scroll down just to search for um some interesting leaves i think something like this is cool i just want something that can depict natural okay yes this is very cool okay then i just reduce the size and i drop it here okay so let's zoom in and resize everything well actually so i increase the size and move it up and move this one also up okay then we change the color to green okay so we turn with these greens over here so i use the color picker okay and i search for green now this one is just to some way let me choose this type of green and see oh okay all the greens i'm picking are not like very nice greens to me so okay this is a very good green i was looking for yeah and we want to say organic okay so i copy and i say o o r g a n i c organic and i just reduce the size a little bit and position it here it would have been nice if we had the option to make it wavy and the only option here is just to type each letter you know separately and arrange them nicely on this but if you know you don't have a lot of time on your hand you can also just do it how i have done it okay and that is cool so now um with the text you can choose to basically add any text at all you you want okay so maybe let me just move all of this to the top a little bit okay so something small i would reposition it but i just want to add some sort of dummy text okay so i come here and i change the text to montserrat because 
you want to use some sort of text people can read easily okay yeah montserrat then i come into i'm opening a, a browser so hold on let me pull it okay so dummy dummy text generator okay then i just select some few lines okay of text copy and close come here and paste okay so i just reduce it also you know sometimes you'd want to give some extra information you get it so that's the essence but if not you can just um, drag everything down then i select everything again click and hold shift so that i move it vertically okay so you can see this is what we have been able to create inside of canva and i i just hope there's one more thing we have to do okay so let me just do it quickly i select the same leaves okay and this time around for this leaf you see so i come to adjust and i increase the blurriness of the leaf you get it then i duplicate and position it here and do the same for it duplicate again and i can make it smaller okay so that it will look as if it was far okay so something like this and yes we've added some extra touch and it's making this whole thing look very beautiful so this is what we had to create today and the name is benjamin don't forget to check out the community platform create your account and let's you know have a solid relationship over there i'll see you in my next video